Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon, whatever it may be. And thank you to AG1 for sponsoring today's video. Rise and shine. We're up before even the coral and fish are up. What do you guys think of this morning hairdo? Pretty nice, huh? Now recently I've been trying to live a healthier lifestyle. I talked about this in a few videos ago that I was gonna set goals and I'm starting to achieve those goals with the help of AG1. As you guys can see, I'm up super early before the sun even comes up. And first thing in the morning, I've been taking this nutritional drink by AG1 and let me tell you what, I feel so good throughout my day. It's super simple and easy to make first thing in the morning. All you gotta do is take a little scoop just like this, nice and leveled as you guys can see. I'm getting low, I've been using this stuff. Add it to your cup right here. Perfect. Add some water. We're gonna add about eight ounces, ladies and gents. And eight ounces. Oh, nine. That's okay. Take the top, screw that on. Give it the shaky shake, ladies and gents. <sighs> Just like that. Now I haven't eaten a single thing this morning and if you wanna get really all the benefits from it, you gotta take it on an empty stomach. It supports gut health, immunity, healthy aging, your energy, your focus, recovery, and even hair and nail growth. So I'm gonna go ahead I've already tried this countless times, but oh my God. It is so dang good. It honestly tastes like a healthy smoothie, but you're getting all the benefits from it with just one scoop. It literally is so good. Now I've been drinking AG1 for about four weeks now and my energy has actually gone up drastically. I find myself to get a lot more done throughout my day. Usually I hit a midday lull, but by drinking this, I find myself able to work throughout the day without really hitting that afternoon slowdown. Really one of my favorite parts about taking AG1 is eliminating everything else I usually would do. I would add strawberries, bananas, spinach, everything, but I'm getting just about all of that all right here with one quick scoop. Honestly, it tastes better than my smoothie. To give you guys just a couple of the big benefits I've gotten from it, one, my focus and my energy has gone up like crazy. And two, it's really helped my gut health and my girlfriend has always told me, Jack, you need to focus on your gut health. I highly recommend you guys setting aside a few minutes and prioritizing your health. Investing in your health will pay off in the long run and you're gonna thank yourself. You all can click my link to get a one year supply of immune supporting vitamin D3, K2, and five travel packs free with your first purchase. Ladies and gents, you can't put a price tag on your health. I'll see you guys in a few hours because it's 5.30 in the morning. All right, you guys, it's been a little bit. Kyle and I actually went to the pier this morning and fished. We caught a nice slot snook, so that's already been done. We got to the pier at 6 a.m., got home by 8.30. Here we are at 9.15, shaved, kept the mustache, just cleared the mustache, was lucky. We're gonna head over to the Boca Inlet. We're gonna see what we can catch. We got a bucket with an aerator. We got a rod. We're gonna try and catch. We're gonna try and catch something for the saltwater pond. We're going out there on a limb. We might catch some bait to feed the sharks and the eels and the snapper, or we might catch a new fish for the pond. So, see you guys when we're there. We've made it to the fish guy land. It's been quite a bit since we've been here, and every time we come here, we always find something cool. So, we're gonna start with the net. We're gonna flip some rocks. We're gonna see if we can find some invertebrates, something we can maybe use for bait, or even something that we can find to bring home to the sharks or the pond. So let's get to it. Let's see what we can find. One of my favorite things to do is flip these rocks here because a lot of the times you'll find like some really cool crabs, even pistol shrimp. You really never know what you can find. We found a handful of stuff underneath these rocks here. You just gotta flip the right one. These are some big, juicy, Freaking rocks, ladies and gents. Oh my God, we might have our first culprit of the day. Hang on. We might have our first culprit of the day. I swear to saw one. Hang on. It's right there. Yeah. It's dead. No way. It's a dead shrimp. It's a dead freaking shrimp. We will definitely take this guy and use him for bait though. That either is a very, very unlucky shrimp that didn't make it or maybe somebody fished it and was like, you know what? He did, but we'll take it and we'll use it for bait. That's good. <sighs> Shrimp. Y'all look really close right here into the water, right right beside the rock. It's probably way too tough for you guys to see. It's really tough for you guys to see, I'm sure. If I can scare, there he goes, scared him right into the net. So this is the first shrimp we've caught that's actually alive of the day. Take a look at how clear they are when they're living and they're in the wild. Usually shrimp that you get from the stores, they have like an orange brown tint to them. This guy is like as clear as they get. I love catching wild shrimp. There's shrimp here year round, but typically the best time, like I came here in the winter one time and I kid you not, I caught like 
three dozen shrimp, no problem. I've, I've filled five gallon buckets full of shrimp and it's called the shrimp run, but usually we always have shrimp here. They're a lot harder to come by, but this guy, we're definitely gonna take home, feed to the sharks, and we might be throwing him on the line for bait. I'm not too sure yet. We might catch a big fish. We might only be feeding the pond, but it's gonna be a dang good video. I'm gonna get this guy in the bucket. Big crab, big crab, big mama crab. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Not with me. This guy is gonna go on a run for it pretty quick, I'm assuming. This is a big ol', I don't know what kind of crab it is. Whoa, sugar puff. I don't like these guys. Hey, hey, you wait right there. You wait right there, and I'm gonna grab you like this. Just like that. Look at that. I'm bad grills here, and this is a crab. That's a pretty hefty sized crab. I don't even know if our sharks would be able to eat it, but it's really pretty. If you actually look at him, he's he's quite beautiful. He's got a little blue, little orange. This guy is a little big. We're gonna send him back on his way. Watch this guy run off. See you, buddy. Go back to the water. Go on. There he goes, back with his friggin' wide stance. What'd you get? That's the fish guy power. Oh, that's it, there goes the ankle, that's cut open. Look at this, look at how many fish I just caught in the net. Baby Sergeant Majors, look at that right there. A whole bunch of these little guys. There's a school of about freaking 100 of them right there. And we just caught what? One, two, three, like eight, seven or eight. This is the most famous Sergeant Major on YouTube. Name him, we're gonna send him on his merry way in about, I don't know how many years, but he's gonna be a big fella and he's gonna be famous. So name him, maybe we'll name him famous. He's out here, you wanna come catch him? He's out here in this, in this vicinity. Seems like as we get deeper, we're coming across more fish and such. So keep walking around here and look really close to the rocks. The rocks are gonna hold fish. Shrimp, shrimp. Shrimp hiding in the sand. Shrimp hiding in the sand. Look at that. Super clear. One. Another really dang clear shrimp right there. We're gonna, if we can catch like a dozen of these, we can go maybe catch a really cool fish of the pond or take them back and feed Richie Rich some live, fresh shrimp. We've already got this one. Look at this. Not even a foot from the other guy. Come here. Sugar puff. I think he went in that rock. I think he went into the rock too. I think I saw him. Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. Catch him with your hand. Got him. That's how you go shrimping. That's how you go shrimping, baby. Two, two, two. That's pretty crazy. Believe it or not, today was actually kind of cold. This morning we woke up, we went to the pier. It was like 72. For summer, that's pretty cold. So that could have dropped the water temp maybe a little bit, which is having these shrimp come out of the, the sand. They'll typically always be hiding in the sand throughout the day. And then of course you can always find them wherever you may be. But when the water gets cold, they get a little more active. And this is our, these are our third live ones and we found one dead, so that's four shrimp today. That is four shrimp. We wrapped things up over at the bridge. We ended up catching eight more shrimp. So we have about a dozen shrimp with us. And if we look right in the water over here, we found some big file fish. These things are absolutely beautiful. So I rigged the rod up. We got a little tiny hook right here, literally like a size one. A little tiny piece of the shrimp tail that we just caught. Gonna put that on the hook just like this. And then we got 10 pound leader, something super light, because these guys are super smart. So let's see if we can catch these. Fish on. Oh, I thought it was the file. This thing is oh, still schoolmaster. Super pretty. Yeah, schoolmaster. It's not the file we were after, but it is a schoolmaster snapper. What if you got what do you guys think if we caught a legal one of these? If I put it in my 125 aquarium and get this thing like freaking huge and then move it to the saltwater pond. But they are one of the prettiest snappers. Look at them put up that dorsal fin when I shake them. Come on, buddy. Put it up. There you go. Look at that. That is just such a beautiful snapper. The blue stripe. That is epic. There's a bunch of them down there. And there's actually one big one. So I'm gonna throw this guy back, throw the bait in the water one more time. Then we're heading home. We're gonna feed the pond, baby. We found the Schoolmaster Mother Load. So this one's just a little bit bigger. He's still too small to keep, but look at that thing. Still such a beautiful looking fish right there. So what do you think? Think he could be cool? Could name him Snappy. Just saying. All right, everybody, we've made it back home to the saltwater pond. You guys can clearly see that the sharks are active. They definitely want to eat, but I really want to try and feed Gus the mangrove snapper. I got a bunch of live shrimp right here in the bucket. We got about we fished like what, three of them? So I think we have like nine left. So let's see if these guys want to take some food. All right, I'm gonna go ahead, drop all these shrimp inside here. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know if, oh my God, Richie. Richie, you savage. Did he just get one? I think he did. I think he just got one, no joke. I don't think that thing got away from him. I do not think that thing got away from Richie. 
We have a bunch of others inside here. They're, you know, they're burying in the sand just like how we found them. These sharks are definitely active. They know what's going on, but it's probably, it's definitely a lot harder for them to find the shrimp when they're alive because they don't throw off that big smell like the dead ones. They throw off a lot of odor. These fresh ones, they don't smell as much because they're alive. They can contain all their juices. We got some of the shrimp that are buried in the sand and then we have some that are swimming around. And this one right here is actually trying to hide with the starfish. He's like seeking refuge on the starfish, but Richie just swam over one of the shrimp that were buried below the sand. And that shrimp did not sneak by Richie. He consumed him to say the least. He picked him up, ate him, and that was a nice fresh shrimp. These things, these sharks are still swimming around looking for more food and it's really cool to see them hunt. We're gonna throw pretty much all of them in here and they'll hunt at their own leisure. It's pretty funny watching these shrimp just skip by the sharks. Like they finally get over them and the, sh the shrimp realize that they're there and they just do one flick of the tail and they are gone. But I already told Kyle, if you guys didn't see my last video, I bought Kyle a panther grouper. I was holding it for him. I already told him he got it. I got it for him. He's super stoked about it. And I want to show you guys that fish eating. And I also cleaned the whole tank like I promised you guys. So let's head inside. Let's take a look. Alrighty, we've made it back up to the coral tank and take a look. It's super clean. All the coral look really good. I actually did rearrange the rock structure and replace some of the corals. But the panther grouper, he's right there hiding underneath the rock. And he is a beast. I'm gonna feed him a little piece of shrimp, so get ready for this. All right, here we go. Kyle's gonna see his panther grouper eat for the first time. Watch this thing, see the food? Oh, he got spooked. He got a little spooked, he did, didn't he? Yeah. Come on, buddy. Come on. There he is, there he is, there he is. Lit up. Boom! Ooh! Look at that fish. He lights up those fins. Those dots get real dark. That is such a freaking awesome fish. I cannot wait to get mine. 12 incher. 12 or foot long panther group are gonna be going in the pond here soon once that fish store calls me that they got it I hope you all did enjoy today's video once again. Thank you to ag1 for sponsoring today's video I love you all so much. I'll catch you all in that next video. Peace out